Let me show you what this bad boy can do. Hey guys, welcome back to Titanium Man Garage. And today I'm working on a 600 for a customer of mine. And the story goes, he had bought the thing from a friend of his. The friend had uh, put a different carburetor on. From what I'm hearing, it ran good for a bit, but then it started idling rough and acting weird, so the guy turned the idle up really high. So I pulled the air box off. And any of you guys uh, ever work on your carbs? What do you see wrong there? So he bought an aftermarket carb and had this vacuum thing that comes out um, of the diaphragm. That's supposed to be plugged. So this is kind of correct. So the vents for the carb here and over here are completely blocked off. So it's not venting correctly. So that would uh, explain why you had to bump up the idle high. So whoever put this carb in did it completely wrong. Uh, this part he did right. Aftermarket carb your um, goes to your pulse pump. It's a vacuum line. Uh, on the 600s, the hose for the fuel pump actually goes into the crankcase. And uh, that makes the pulse pump pump. So that's about the only thing you need to write. I also noticed when I started it, the tachometer didn't work. So as you can see, somebody messed with that too because the cigarette lighter is missing. So these 600s and 700s can be problematic. They all rely off the battery. If the battery is not fully charged, starts getting low, you'll start having electrical issues. Uh, usually um, wears out the grounds and it's more on the ground and fries whatever circuitry is going on, like say the tack. I'm going to try to start this thing for you so you can see how it runs. See how it idles, it's, it's pretty rough. I have an RPM and nothing is reading. So I'm testing the battery. Battery voltage is good, so I know that's not going to be the issue. Let me show you what else I found. So here's the yellow wire down by the regulator rectifier that you need to look at. Disconnect that, clean off any terminals, see if uh, that might be why the RPM isn't working, or I might have to replace that. I'm also looking, and look at that. That is wide open, that's not supposed to be like that. There's some damage to the wires. The uh, bulb isn't even hooked up. This was taken off. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna kind of go through them. Um, there's a uh, little of the insulation taken away from the red wire here, so that might be touching something. I'm also gonna swap out that carb. Got a different uh, aftermarket carb. Doesn't have that vacuum line on the top for the diaphragm. Um, I don't even know why they put those on the aftermarket ones. Uh, I don't like them. I try to order them without them. Uh, so I'm going to swap out that carb. Hopefully that makes a difference, but I'm still wondering why the RPMs do not show. So from the research I did, it has to do with uh, regulator rectifier. It runs off the stator. I'm going to start off with that carb first, swap that out, and see what happens. But, uh, I'm going to go over everything and just kind of clean up any terminals. This was actually loose. This is loose. It's not in all the way. So I'll just kind of be looking everything over. Alright guys, similar situation. The last 700 I had, I posted a video on. Uh, it's sucking in air, that's why it's idling so high. The uh, intake boot, or what I like to call the car boot, is ripped. I don't know if I can get a good shot of that with the, the lighting. Right down there. 
a nice rip in it. It's, uh, got cracks in it. I actually can't see it, it's over on this side. Here we go, I got it off, you can see it a little better. Look at that. All the way around. Not good. It's another common problem with the 6 and 700s. Uh, I'm gonna probably replace that boot, but I just might try to take a little um, sealer or something and try to seal it up for now as a temporary fix and uh, keep going. All right, so I figured out the high idle. Now I'm trying to figure out why the tachometer doesn't work. So I'm overlooking my wiring harness. This is split open. Got some fraying down here on the red wire. And I started wiggling on the yellow wire. Remember what I said about the yellow wire going to the stator? That <laughs> just pulled it right out. And I'm gonna inspect the yellow wire, see if there's any fraying going on. But because this was open, this wasn't connecting. That's why the tachometer didn't work. All right, so I took this clip off. And somebody monkeyed with this before because whoever pushed the clip back on, this little plastic piece goes in and out. That's supposed to lock that pin in. And it was on the outside of the plastic case, which is why it popped out when they plugged it back in. So these are the little locking tabs that hold your connectors in place. So I'm gonna try to carefully push that back together. I'm gonna somehow fasten this up so it stays together. And that should cure my problem. Yeah, it's working. The carbine, still idling a little high, but uh, I'll have to tweak that. Yeah, it was that chewed up red wire that I found underneath the Speedo. It's supposed to be about 1100. Problem solved. Switch out the carb. The red wire fix. Sometimes it's the little things you need to look for. Hope you liked this video, hit the thumbs up if you liked it, and subscribe. And like always, till next time.